I mean, I think that uh, artists have a, a specific place from which they depart to make a piece, but I think that whoever receives the other end will always have their own symbolic meaning and their own experience within the interpretation of the piece. So I think this is also an, a very open-ended piece. But it's very much about that, pushing a little bit the boundaries of masculine and feminine and how we all have that within us. Um, and it's... Regardless if you're a man or a woman, there's these two elements that is um, in other cultures is very much uh, incorporated and in Western culture not so much. And because of this, Italy has been invaded by the world, by everybody. They have art from practically every single country and then with, because of that, their influence on European, Western European art is too immense. And it's from there that the rest of the world is all pretty much pulled their art. Explanation of the uh, ingredients that go into the paint, uh, sand and other things. She explained it to us the first time we came in. Did she use all natural pigments? Did she use it on herself? Yeah, there's something about the red is, I believe, is red base, which is mm -hmm. not something we can even get here. But it's, so she mixes like in a historical style? Yes. Yeah, because the colors are really amazing. They're like so subdued, but just like rich. The red is. The red is the red. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, and it should just frame it perfectly with the blues around. And the, the, the scenes themselves are like really, they're subtle. They're kind of sneaky. Mm -hmm. It's like, there's a real kind of melancholy. This is a wonderful exhibit of two great artists, Julie Hoff and Carolyn Latinesia. And the wonderful part, not only that they were wonderful artists, is they were the very first two artists that joined me with my husband's work for our grand opening five years ago. So they're very different in style, but wonderful masterpieces, and I'd like you to have them talk a little bit about their work. I'm really drawn to um, the cane fields, which are very unique to Maui because that's where all the workers who came and immigrated there started in the fields. And so we have a whole history there that most people don't really know about. They think of Maui and Hawaii, they think of volcanoes and Hula and Mai Tais. Well this is a whole side of Maui that I'm painting that is really not the tourist view. Um, I'm highly inspired by uh, light and light on the landscape. So you'll see that all my work has the essence of light and some kind of atmosphere. And so there was something about the landscape and the Japanese art, which I've always loved, even as a child, um, that somehow I came back, this was in 1972, and said, I've just got to do watercolors. So I primarily focused on that. I go off into other mediums and just keep coming back to watercolor. You know, I, I just draw inspiration from what I see around me. When I'm drawn to something and it has detail, that's what I have to take. Uh, my name is Deborah Lee, and this is Amanda. And we're here representing Motif Magazine for the 124th Gallery Night in Providence, Rhode Island. Okay. Right. So there were five galleries. Mm -hmm. um, started off at Yellow Apparel. Uh, Just Art was the second. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, we moved over to uh, Atwell's Avenue, Federal Hill. Okay. We had a favorite gallery this evening. Uh, we actually, I, I think it was Yellow Apparel Gallery. Um, there was an artist that was there that had studied at Parsons School of Design. Um, she did, um, she did this amazing uh, installation work, uh, which is something that uh, uh, that was photographed, and it's something that we don't see uh, in Providence, in Rhode Island, very often. Uh, so I like to say that it's a little risque for um, the viewers here. Um, as, an as an illustrator, uh, there was a woman that, um, Carolyn, yes. uh, that did these watercolor paintings of these cute little Japanese girls um, that were absolutely amazing, and I think one actually sold this evening. There was art being sold tonight. That's wonderful. Yeah. There's cheese, there's secret gardens, yeah, yeah. there's the food, wine. The food was exceptional. The food was definitely <laughs> is like reason alone. Yeah, there's great company. The weather is wonderful. You get to walk around. It gives you something to do. It's only two hours. Yeah, it's a great, <laughs> it's a great way to see 
of a lot of galleries and a, and a good array of galleries in a very short period of time. And if you're unfamiliar with Providence's gallery scene, I think this is sort of like an excellent introduction. Oh, this is an awesome introduction. Yeah. Yeah.